Hello. Well, if you've been following the earlier videos, you'll uh, know that I've done two leak tests on my IP68 uh, equipment box, and both of them, both of them have been uh, failures. So um, I'm thinking now that I've got to get uh, serious, and I've taken uh, advice from Dick and from Drawing Board 82, both of whom have made comments on my earlier videos. So let's see what I'm going to do now. So I've got out this old stuff which I had for dealing with problems with my oil boiler in the days when you didn't have to be certified by Oftec before you could do that. And uh, what I've got is a manifold with a pressure gauge on it which goes plus and minus and a pump which blows and sucks depending on which you connect that thing to. And I had made, a few months ago, this little Delrin jobby, which screws on there with some kind of, I don't know, is one, a quarter inch BSP or something. I bought the tap for that. Um, and my idea was that if I took the mast out of here, I could put this in there. I'm not going to press it down now, but it fit, does fit. And then I could pressurise plus or minus the whole boat and see uh, where it was leaking, perhaps. But I never actually used it in anger. What I'm going to do now is that I've removed this black plastic socket from here, leaving an 18mm hole. I'm going to make another Delrin thing, which will fit in there with an O-ring on it and a nut on the inside. Uh, and then it will screw, I'll be able to screw this manifold into it and we can uh, pressurise uh, the box, either positive or negative, put it under water and see what happens. See if any water comes out of these things, for example. So, uh, back to the lathe to do that. Right, well I've just sawn off a bit of Delrin to make this um, gizmo, whatever the hell it is. And by the way, this uh, long-term test of the stepper motor is still carrying on as usual. I have no idea how many counts uh, it's up to at the moment. Right, well I've drilled a small hole in this piece of Delrin and placed it off both ends and I'm just going to reduce this um, to 18 millimeters. Delrin of course cuts like butter so uh, I've just got to be very careful not to go beyond this shoulder here because the um, the tool will hit the lathe chuck if I do. Well, I suppose I better measure it now. Right, that's down to 80 millimeter. Um, actually, it's 17.88 because I overshot, as I usually do, by miscalculating, forgetting that when you move the, the tool in, it takes material off from both sides. So now we've got to thread that. Right. Well, I put a, an M18 two millimeter pitch thread on here. Um, actually doing it by hand, rotating the chuck by hand because I've got very little, uh, the two millimetre pitch runs at such a rate if you put it on auto feed that um, I would have uh, crashed into the flange there. Right, I've got an o-ring here and I'm just going to cut a little groove for it at what I've carefully calculated is the right place. So it's virtually guaranteed that this will turn out to be wrong, but nevertheless we're going to do it. Good. I'm not going to hit anything, so... I should do it. So I just hope I haven't made this groove too deep, because I just did it by hand, didn't I? Without using any brains. Which is my normal way of doing things. I think that's going to be all right. It doesn't it doesn't quite sit in there, but 
That'll be fine when I do it up and get it right. Right, this drill is 8.7 millimetres. God knows what that is in Imperial, but I think it's the right thing for this uh, BSP tap that I have to do. So. I should think that would do it. Right, this is a 1 8 of inch BSP tap and I'm just going to do this by hand I think. Shouldn't be difficult, should it? bottoming tap in. And what I don't want is to miss do that. Do that. I hope that's okay. We'll try it. Well that looks okay to me. Went on the manifold, okay. All I need now is an M18 nut with a two millimeter pitch. I haven't got any of those. I suppose I could make one. I have actually ordered some. I could wait 48 hours for them to come. Or I could make one, depending upon how impatient we are. At last some interesting weather in Hampshire. We hardly ever have interesting weather in Hampshire. Looks like we might have a plenty of snow by tomorrow morning. The tap drill for M18 2mm pitch is 16mm so let's hope that this works. Alright maybe we'll go a bit slower. Well, I thought this might be a problem. My internal boring HSS tool will not quite fit into a 16 millimeter hole. I think what I'm going to do is grind off the bottom millimeter from the from this tool there. Well, hope that's enough. I'm just doing this by hand. Because it avoids hitting things. Well, I just managed to do this. Um, but only at the cost of grinding this tool down a long way so that it's uh, somewhat weakened from the point of view of uh, using it uh, on um, harder materials. Anyway, that's that. Right, well, a couple of the manifold to the box with an O-ring in here. Um, I hope that's going to be all right. I've put two end caps on these two lumbar connectors because we know for certain that you can just blow air straight through them if there isn't a cap or a plug installed. And I've got my pump here. So, um, let's fill that with water. It's unfortunate that the um, 
pressure gauge is going to be underwater, but that's the way the thing is uh, structured. So we'll just have to put up with that. Right, well, that's underwater, and now I'm going to give it a, a modest. Well, would you bloody well believe that? Show that up close. What a bloody useless box. Look at that. This is at such a small pressure that I can't even uh, measure it on here. And that's just coming out between the seal to the top of the box in the middle. Rather as I thought, because I looked at this and I thought maybe there should be screws here as well because we're just assuming that this whatever it is, ABS plastic or whatever, is uh, completely rigid. Because the force generated by a rubber seal is actually quite large, isn't it? But we've also got, I think, something coming out of here. Have a look at that. Well, it's hard to tell there, but I think it's coming out between the box and the metal part of the socket. Let's try rotating that round. So that. Well, I'll look up. The, look at that on film, and um, well, I, I mean on playback, <laughs> playback the video, and I think I shall see what that is. Well, that proves that this box. <sighs> is no bloody good isn't it? The whole box is no good and it's the only box of a sensible size that I can find. <sighs> there are hundreds of boxes on RS components and on Farnell. Uh, not hundreds, thousands. Incredibly Farnell only has four IP68 boxes. RS components has got hundreds and this is the only one that's the right size. I could, I could have one slightly bigger than this if they had one, but I, I can't find one. This is a nightmare. Well, this box is a Firebox Euronord box. And um, it's only rated at IP67, not IP68. However, um, IP67 sh should be okay for immersion up to one meter of depth. Test duration 30 minutes. Well, it's enormously much worse than that, isn't it? So that's a black mark for Firebox Euronaut. Looking at the socket against the light, you can see that it is uh, see through all the pins. Now, that doesn't matter because there isn't water on either side of the pins, or shouldn't be. But it does mean that uh, if you were to remove a plug from this socket with water all the way around the annular gap, it's going to get wet everywhere, even before you install a um, cap. So it's not very satisfactory. Well, at least we've established uh, that the box is no good and that the Lumberg connectors are not much good either. Um, on the good news front, these uh, Sorio, Sorio connectors made of plastic are quite good because I can't blow through them at all so that the pins and the internal insert is completely sealed which is nice and secondly, I don't know if I can show you this, the o-ring is of a larger diameter than the threaded part of the socket so you don't have such a critical constraint on the size of the hole that you're drilling through the box so for both of those reasons I think this is going to be wonderful and uh, I'm going to use those uh, if and when I've managed to find a box that is um, 
that is even half waterproof. Anyway, thanks for watching and let's hope we have some nice snow by this evening.